Hello guys, Battlefront Bruce here. Today we're going to be talking about some brand new Rogue One Scare DLC info that we just got a couple days ago. As you said, um, just found it on, out on a little website that told us that the release date is coming out on December 6th. So super excited for it to come out and I'm ready to play it. Yep, and next we're going to be talking about the weapons. So these, both of these uh, weapons are pretty unique because they change the mechanics of the game. So uh, the A180, which is the first blaster I'm going to be talking about, has um, three settings, I guess, or four settings, but three abilities that replace your star cards. Um, and so the first one that changes your pistol into a rifle. Uh, a fully automatic rifle that sounds pretty powerful. And then next, um, the next ability that it has is going to be, um, it changes your pistol into a sniper rifle, which is pretty cool. And then, uh, your last, the last ability is it changes your pistol into an ion launcher. So, not which, I'm not sure which one I'm most excited about, which one of those abilities I am, but, uh, then next we're gonna be talking about the DT-29, which is also pretty cool, because it also changes the mechanics of the game in a, in a way, in a way that nobody would have expected would have happened in this game. So, pretty much what happens is, uh, it, Instead of having a classic cooldown, uh, a cooldown mechanic, it has a reloading mechanic, an ammo mechanic that um, is pretty cool because um, you have six individual shots that do massive damage, um, and then after you're done with those shots, you have to reload and. Um, it takes a while, but that's okay because the six bolts that you fire are super powerful. And they just do a lot of damage. Okay, next we're going to talk about the new um, people, heroes and villains. Um, first is Director Krennic for the Imperials. He has an armor breaker that reduces, reduces damage of your opponents and is super powerful and will help you get some kills. Next is C2B5 Astromech, who has a personal shield that can um, protect your teammates and heal them in the process. The last one is Wrath of Imperials. It adds health and um, armor to your teammates in a certain radius, kind of like a circle. A little circle that will help your teammates out. And oh, the next um, hero is Jin Erso, who has a baton type thing that melees and is a one shot melee, which probably will be super cool. And it does not, or it has certain amount of um, times that you can use it before it runs out, so that's also cool. Next, it has a Sonic Imploder, which blinds the enemies and damages them at the same time. Um, and then the last one, um, she can turn her uh, blaster pistol into a rifle, a uh, fully automatic rifle, um, and is going to be very powerful and will kill the enemies super fast. Um, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I'm... We're both super excited to play with the new heroes and uh, weapons. So next off, we're going to talk about the Sonic Imploder and the new power-ups. So the Sonic Imploder is pretty cool. As Ethan said, it blinds and, um, and kind of reduces their health and damages them a little bit. It also deafens them because it's a super loud uh, sound. It deafens them for a short bit so that they cannot hear barely a thing. Um, and then the power-ups are going to be the Ewing and the TIE Striker. So the Ewing is pretty cool because it calls it in and, um, and well, it so you take control of the gunner position of the Ewing, which sounds super cool and uh, definitely excited to play with that. Um, so 
Yeah, then the next one is the tie striker, which kind of calls, calls in a bombing run, uh, but not really a bombing run. They just come in and shoot the ground and try to get some rebels. So that's pretty cool. I think I'm more excited for the U-Wing. What about you? Um, yeah, definitely. Can't wait till the U-Wing comes out, and can't wait to play as him, too. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, next is the infiltration mode, the new mode that is three stage, just like Battle Station in the Death Star. It has one um space mode, which is the first one, and then two others that are on land. So that is definitely nice to kind of get like two um lands and one space that will definitely be cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, next up, we're going to talk about the new maps. And uh, the the new maps are going to be all mostly on Scarif, but all around Scarif, too. So the space map is going to be the shield gate map that will be in space. And there's a gate that uh, puts up a shield and kind of protects Scarif so that nobody can get through without... Uh, the leaders of Scarif's consent. So then next up is going to be the um, the Scarif beaches and then um, then the Scarif jungles and then the landing pad and yeah so that's uh, all for the maps. I hope you all had a good time watching this and I hope you learned a lot and uh, just Stay tuned for the next video that we will uh, try to release as soon as possible. Please thank subscribe you. and comment what we should do next. And thank you very much. See you later.